Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, I'm continuing with um, completing all of the red zones um, with all the 200% teams no item. Um, the Worldwide Dallas Celebration, not only did it introduce a brand new red zone, but also there was four new 200% leaders. So, I've still been just like kind of like scattered knocking out like wins on, you know, random red zones with random teams all over the place. Um, sort of finishing up on a lot of these, right? So... Today, we're going to use the LR Final Form Cooler team to sweep the GT Red Zone. Um, now, previously, I would have said that the GT Red Zone overall was probably tougher than the Movie Red Zone. It's just that the Movie Red Zone had a way harder fight. And that is still probably true, but uh, about the GT side being harder than the Movie side, just except for, you know, the last fight. Um, but certainly these new characters destroy these stages, right? So this first fight against Legic, I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, Legic, what can Legic do? It doesn't matter that he's AGL. Uh, he's not killing the coolers. He's just not. All right, next we're moving on to Lord Lude. Um, again, very easy fight. Now, I should say that I believe a bunch of these runs were recorded, like, you know, sort of, like, randomly over, honestly, almost, like, the last month and a half, right? Because um, I believe the Omega no-item win we get at the end um, was my initial Final Form Cooler showcase against Omega, right? So I think some of these runs... Like, happened after LR Metal Cooler was out. I think some of them were from, like, before LR Metal Cooler was out, right? AGL Metal Cooler. Like, a lot of these different characters, um, you know, again, I I've been recording these periodically here and there because there's, there's now, what, 19 Red Zone fights? So, it is a lot of fights that I'm trying to, you know, sort of, like, no item um, with all of these different teams and stuff like that, right? So, not really too much to talk about with Lord Lude. Um... We have, you know, the very powerful, like, combo of characters we're going to run in pretty much every run, right? Um, Final Form Cooler, Golden Frieza, Janemba. And then, you know, LR Metal Coolers on some of these runs. Some of them were recorded after he came out. Um, but, like, Lude and these characters just can't really handle this power.
All right, now we're moving on to the Rildo fight. Um, another character, right, to certainly keep in mind of is this easy a base cooler, right? If there's like a fight where he's not on the team, it's because I probably recorded it from before he came out. But I mean, it's fine, right? It's We get a little bit of variety. Some different characters used in some of these runs is certainly not a bad thing. Um, now, Rildo, uh, you know, is certainly... I, I would say Rildo is a challenging fight. I... I Honestly, I feel like base cooler, he ate that pretty impressively to me, right? Like, this Rildo is no joke, because Rildo does uh, defensive debuff you every super attack he does in the entire fight, right? Which is certainly a, a nuisance to deal with. Um, yeah, d dude, LR Metal Cooler, like, having him as just kind of like a utility unit on some of these, like, it really does work so well, right? It's like... LR Metal Cooler head to head against a lot of the top units in the game. He, he just he doesn't really compete so much with like the, the best units in the game. But like if you're using him as a complement to some of those best units in the game, LR Golden Frieza, LR Final Form Cooler, it's just crazy how much of an impact Metal Cooler can have on the team. While I, I think you know not being as good as some of these other characters, it's really well. I think the design for LR Metal Cooler, I, I, I've i warmed up to it quite a bit. I still think they could give him a little bit more and it would have been fine, but that LR Metal Cooler is very strong, right? Um, now, the one thing we do have to worry about, I guess, in here um, is the fact that Rildo, in his final phase, member can lock you in slot one. Um, but that's more so an issue if you're going to use AGL characters, right? We're in here with... Um, uh, you know, the only AGL character we're using here is LR Golden Frieza, who is probably the best AGL character in the game, right? I think so, yeah. I, pro I would probably say so. LR Golden Frieza, best AGL character in the game right now? Probably. Um, but he, we don't have to really worry about him taking too much damage. If it was very deep in the fight, right, and Golden Frieza's full, like, damage reduction was worn off, sure, but, like, we're going to be fine. Um, and then we're able to use the LR Metal Cooler army here as well. Um, that's a character that will also be healing us every turn, is able to support artificial life form, um, and, you know, can honestly have some, like, decent attack and defensive stats, depending upon what the rotation is like. Dude, LR Metal Cooler's nullification. I've never gotten, like, a character's nullification more than LR Metal Cooler. Maybe, I, I guess, like, Janemba and the two androids, 17, 18, 19, and 20, I have gotten theirs a lot as well. Because key blast supers are just so common, but I just in these red zone runs, it does feel like I get that LR Metal Cooler nullification quite often. I mean, we've seen it twice in this run already. Alright, so next we're going on to the Baby fights. Now, Baby actually... I feel like Baby potentially could be tricky for this team, right? Like, there's certainly a good possibility. Um, the reason I think that Baby could be kind of tough here um, is, remember, Great Ape Baby at the end can be a bit of a menace, right? 
Um, because the thing about Great Ape Baby at the end, uh, is that he does those AoE normals, which hit for about 300,000 damage. So, you know, your start of turn defense is going to need to be like over 300k to be able to tank those AoE normals. So depending upon what characters we're using, how much they've built up or something like that, it certainly can be an issue, right? You know, taking a lot of damage. Like, for example, EZA base cooler. If we don't get a million super attacks with him, well, I don't know. Actually, does he start out turn one above the threshold? He might. But th this is a fight where some characters could get caught um, by Great Ape Baby in slot one, right? Like, Great Ape Baby, if he does four or five AoE normal attacks in slot one, it can be pretty devastating to a lot of teams, right? Like, a character that people go crazy over, and I, I feel like... At this point, I am starting to get to the point where I might say he's... I've, I've never wanted to say physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku was overrated, but I feel like we might be starting to get to that point because he just doesn't compete with the newer characters. But, like, that's a good example of a character that could get slapped up by Baby, right? Because he's getting most of that defense on Super Attack, so Baby could do um, decent damage to him, right? That physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, many characters these days get huge defense when they super, so... You do want to, of course, be careful about that. Uh, remember, the one thing with Baby, though, that they sort of, like, looked out for people is they did give Baby the back-to-back -back int phases, right? So, we're coming in here with a physical lineup, and uh, Baby is going to have trouble overcoming some of those characters, right? Um, we do, in particular, have both LR Janemba and LR Metal Cooler available on Final Form Cooler's team, right, which can completely decimate... Now, the other thing, too, I should mention is that Final Form Cooler's team... By the way, this is uh, this baby slows us down quite a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice damage type this advantage to Cooler. That's pretty impressive. But this baby slows us down a little bit because we just don't get crits, right? It is what it is with the SDR coolers and stuff. Um, this is what can slow this cooler team down is an AGL boss. And then, you know, we're just not getting crits, which we're not right now. So, you know, it, it allows us to go on for a while, but... You know, the longer the fight, the more some of these characters can build up. Um, you know, Baby is more so an issue um, if you're not, you know, having a lot of powerful physical characters, right? If those AoE normals from Great 8 Baby can sort of penetrate you before you get a chance to super attack, right? Definitely a lot of RNG on if Baby is supering right at the start and stuff like that. Um, and then the other thing, too, is remember, Final Form Cooler's team is quite robust. There is a lot of options we could... Like, I could have... Even brought, like, Ginyu and then Raccoon and Goldo as a rotation in one of these fights. It's just that that, that rotation, while it would be certainly very effective in all these red zone fights here, um, it wouldn't be the greatest um, linking with whatever floaters we'd have. One of the Final Form Coolers or any of those types of characters wouldn't really work too well there. But here's the Baby fight. Um, you know, Baby is definitely a challenging fight, but the way this team is set up, it's just like, Great 8 Baby's not going to be able to just obliterate this team, right? These characters with his AoE normals in slot 1. It, it's not going to work out that way. So uh, we don't really have too many difficulties with Great 8 Baby.
All right, next we're moving on to Super 17. Now, Super 17 certainly can be a tough fight, right? This is one of these red zone bosses that could super you for a million damage. So, of course, you know, any of the million uh, damage super attack bosses are, are always sort of a, um, a nuisance, right? Um, early on in the fight, too, these two 17s do hit pretty hard. Um, I think that they can actually do quite a bit of damage. Um, we're using AGL Metal Cooler. AGL Metal Cooler is a character that I've liked a lot more than a lot of people since his release. I feel like he's pretty strong, right? The thing I like about AGL Metal Cooler is he has a level of consistency to him that I feel like many of the top easy ATURs don't have, right? Like, as I've played more and more, one of my favorites has become easy Namek Goku, right? But he certainly is a huge RNG fest, right? He could get completely crushed or he could be God, right? Whereas, like, Metal Cooler and then, like, the tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, they kind of have, like, a level of consistency to them. Like, you know what you're going to get from them every turn. Um, Easy A Base Cooler, he's just on a different level entirely than, than the rest of the Easy A TURs, right? Like, I, he's, like, way above them, but um, he can be very effective as well. Um, now, one other thing, too, is that remember that Super 17 does absorb Key Blast Super Attacks? We actually do have numerous characters here who have Key Blast Supers, but I felt like it was going to be good for the team, right? Like, Final Form Cooler, especially as he builds up, he'll get to the point where he's doing so much damage that um, it, it's, it, like, he, he will out-damage any healing that, like, LR Golden Frieza or, you know, Easy A Base Cooler or the TUR Golden Frieza, any of these characters, if they end up super attacking... Final Form Cooler will outdo the healing that those characters would give to Super 17. So we're not really going to have to worry too much, right? So that, of course, is pretty good, right? Being able to get, um, just ride Final Form Coolers back, right, in terms of damage. Uh, we do want to keep in mind that we don't, we can't use Cooler's active skill, the Supernova, because remember, Super 17 does absorb it. Um, but one thing to keep in mind with Super 17 absorbing um, Cooler's Supernova we could use it, but, like, I, I guess... I was going to say if we have, like, a scouter up, uh, you know, like, like if we knew Super 17's super attack was the first attack, and then we, we could use the active skill, Super 17 would absorb it, but I believe it would still attack break him. It would break that action. So I guess maybe in the future, like, if we got a space-traveling warrior 170% lead, um, and Chi Lai could be on rotation with the scouter, and then you see, you know, where the super attack is... <clears throat> you could use the supernova and then just completely neutralize it, right? Um, certainly could be a way to go about it. Um, oh, I, actually, do I just transform? Because base cooler, if we transform with him, right? Um, you know, at that point, he'll begin stacking attack. And, you know, he's not going to be doing um, key blast super attacks, which uh, Super 17 could absorb. But it's I, I guess I, I just choose to play it a, a little bit more safely. Um, build up cooler a little bit more right before we actually you know sort of uh, get to the conclusion of the fight so there's a super 17 fight oh nice 14 million right there final form cooler okay cool um but yeah there's the super 17 fight it is tough this is a million damage super attack boss but i mean we know how good this cooler team is man come on
All right, guys, now we're moving on to the next fight here in the GT Red Zone. This is against the Shadow Dragons. I I just, I don't know. I, I feel like there's actually, like, nothing to say here. Because all of these, like, characters are build-up characters, right? Like, Final Form Cooler has to attack ten times to fully build up. Uh, LR Golden Frieza has to be hit five times, super attack five times. LR Metal Cooler has to be hit, what, four times. LR Janemba has to attack three times in slot two or three easy a base cooler builds up and stacks up and stuff like that but this is like the second longest uh red zone fight right here this shadow dragon fight uh the full power frieza fight full power frieza does have more health overall um but th this this fight is long right so the point is all these characters are going to be at full potential by the time we reach ice and nova shenron at the end um, Nova Shenron certainly can be tough. He's essentially a, a million damage super attack boss. Essentially. He's he's just a shade under it, right? Um, but, he, you know, he can be tough. But it's like he, you know, he does a key blast super. So LR Janemba is guarding and he could nullify it. He could certainly kill LR Metal Cooler in one hit. But we would then just revive if that was going to happen, right? All the rest of these characters would be able to tank it. Easy A base cooler should have enough defense by the time we reach the end there to where he should be able to tank it as well, right? Like, I, this is just not a fight that's going to give us uh, struggles, right? Like, this, we, we have healing, we have damage, we have defense, we, we have everything. Um, and it should be pretty easy to get all of these characters to be able to stack up in such a long fight, right? Uh, the, the weakness for, like... LR Metal Cooler Steam or LR Final Form Cooler Steam, it's a short fight against a really tough AGL boss, right? Like, the hardest red zone fight for the cooler teams is AGL Metal Cooler, red zone Metal Cooler, because it's a ridiculously short fight against, you know, the second strongest AGL boss in the game or something like that, right? Like, that's a fight this team can struggle with. Um, you know, Ice locking at the end of the fight is not going to matter with this team. He, you know, he locks us, but he's not going to be able to catch us. Right? Like, maybe he could kill LR Metal Cooler in one shot, but then we'd be able to revive, right? Like, we're not probably going to waste LR Metal Cooler's revive before that. I guess it's possible LR Metal Cooler could get killed by Nova and then killed by Ice, I, I guess. But it uh, that's probably not very likely to happen. So, this is just a very easy fight for this team. Um, being able to build up as much as we do, we just completely stomp this fight.
right, guys, now we're moving on to the Omega fight. Now, Omega is tough. I believe this, this, yeah, th this was recorded a super long time ago. This was, like, when, when LR Final Form Cooler first came out, I believe. Like, like very close to the start there. So, um, I, I don't, we don't have, like, LR Metal Cooler and stuff like that. I, I think, I, I'm pretty sure this was a, a very early on, um, video that I did right here. Or maybe this was, was this AGL Metal Cooler showcase in here? That might be what this is. Okay. Yeah, th this might be AGL, Easy A AGL Metal Cooler showcase in this fight. And we know white it. Now, Omega can still be tough, um... He certainly could, you know, slot turn one. He can lock and seal us and sort of, like, ruin our day, right? Um, STR Sin hits really, really hard. And then in Omega towards the end just hits so hard, right? But it is crazy how nine months of character releases. Like, I remember how frightening this fight was on release. Now, it's just like we're, we're able to just completely disintegrate this fight against Omega right here, right? Um, the final form coolers should be built up by the time we get to Omega at the end. A decent rotation for final form cooler, and you can one-shot Omega, right? You supernova, and then he super attacks three or four times. Like, it's GG. Um, you know, it, it, it's crazy. I do think Omega is still a very challenging fight, right? Like, we, we easily could have been caught. Um, you know, early on, maybe Turles gets locked on slot one, and then he just gets insta-killed, right? I've had many runs... Uh, in this fight before where characters get locked and insta-killed immediately. But this guy does not lock and seal as often as, you know, more dangerous bosses. In the, well, I don't know if I want to say more dangerous, but he doesn't lock and seal, like, you know, even Mecha Freeze and King Cold, they guaranteed seal every turn, right? Bojack guaranteed lock and seals every turn, right? There, there's a number of other bosses that sort of have abilities like this that are a little bit more consistent and a little bit more consistently annoying, um, than what Omega is able to do right here. Um, if need be, we could also throw Janemba in slot 3 to potentially nullify Omega Super. We have LR Golden Frieza, who, you know, will be a god. LR Golden Frieza gets his 5 super attacks in, and his 5 hits in, and he, he is just, it, like, unbelievable towards the end of the fight, even with a lot of his damage reduction out. Um, AGL Turles can be a decent option on some of these teams. It was at 11 million attacks that for Golden Frieza right there with a guaranteed additional, right? Like, LR Golden is a problem, too. And he attacked the boss. Look at this. This is LR Golden Frieza, man. People know how good he is, right? So I don't I don't want to say, like, oh, my God, the most underrated unit in the game or something like that. Like, I, it seems to me like people agree and know how crazy LR Golden Frieza is. But there we go. Um, the This team of Final Form Coolers is just way too good. Um, I've mentioned this before. I think Vegeta and Trunks is the best unit in the game. I think Carnival Goku is number two. And then I think Final Form Cooler is number three. But I don't think there's an argument for Carnival Goku as the best unit in the game. Because Vegeta and Trunks are just a better version of it, basically. Um, whereas I think Final Form Cooler, you could make a case for him as number one. There, there are definitely turns. Final Form Cooler, right? You could pop your Supernova and then he supers four times. He attack debuffs. You know, Cooler can tank the strongest AGL boss super attacks in the game. I mean, you need RNG, you need luck, but he can do it, right? So, uh, I, I just, I, I do like um, LR Final Form Cooler, and I do like his team as well. Honestly, uh, this GT Red Zone sweep was very effortless. Uh, this was not hard at all. There we go. Yeah, Janemba with that smirk, baby. You gotta love it. Oh, and then, of course, here's Omega. Everyone knows what I'm talking about with this. There's red zone bosses like Janemba. Yep, there we go again. Janemba has a higher chance to dodge, but I never really feel it. Omega, dude, I swear I've lost runs off of Omega dodging before. I feel like I've never lost off of red zone Janemba dodging though, right? So let me know what you guys think of the Final Form Cooler team sweeping the GT red zone. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.